welcome back to my channel don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already like comment after this video so today i'm really just going to be showing you how i got this healthy vibrant and hydrated scalp look i'm going to be doing a hair mask today i'm not going to ramble too much i'm going to just get in right into the video So I use this Nutribullet blender, cup and blender, 10 in 1 hair growth oil, it has peppermint and yojoba oil and some other oils in it, good for hair growth, so for egg, good for dry scalp and dandruff, an egg, a leftover piece of avocado, honey, organic virgin coconut oil, and mayonnaise. So I'm just going to do is get this leftover avocado and scoop it all into the Nutribullet cup. Avocado is really good for your hair, especially like for a shine. And it also helps with hair growth as well. And throw that away. Next, I grab my honey. Now, look, I was having a hard time getting this honey out because it's been sitting in the cabinet. So you don't don't judge me. I was trying my hardest to get this out. I I just ended up taking the top off and just trying to scoop it out with the spoon, but the spoon was too big. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just get a baby spoon out of the drawer or a fork. Then once I scooped it, I realized, like, that's still not enough. And I don't feel like keep scooping this stuff out. So I just ended up putting that in there. And just letting the honey just drip out of the top part. Now, I don't measure, really. Um, I just go by eye. But I will put some estimated measurements. And next, I'm going to grab my mayo. Now, mayo stinks, but it helps in protein in your hair. So I'm just going to get one spoonful of the mayo and go ahead and put it in there. Yeah, mayo really helps with the protein, hair growth, and all that. Grab my sulfur 8 and I get the tip of my metal spoon and just put a dab of it in there because I don't want too much in there because I'm already going to use it for my daughter's actual hairstyle and to grease her scalp. Next, I'm taking that oil. This oil works miracles. I forgot where I got it from, but if I find it, I'll for sure put it down in the description box. It's really good for hair growth. I'm going to crack my egg and put it in there. An egg is actually another source of protein for your hair as well, and it gives it a shine. The egg whites really help with that. Next, I'm going to grab my coconut oil. I'm just going to grab one spoonful of coconut oil, too. This is virgin coconut oil, also organic. It smells really, really good. I use it a lot for the scent, but it's actually really good with the shine of your hair. You always want to have some kind of oil inside your hair. And I use coconut oil for everything. I'm going to go ahead and screw the top on and start to prep for the blender. So I went ahead and blended it on low. And then I pressed pulse a little just to smoothen it out and turned it off. Opened it up. And it should have like this pudding texture. It looks weird, but it smelled really good because of the coconut oil. So this is my daughter's unwashed hair. I just took it out of a style she had for two weeks. As you can see, it's really dry. It looks kind of brittle and you can tell that it's dirty. Now, my point spot for hair growth is the back of her hair. So I grab my hair bucket. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Every mom needs a hair bucket. So I did, I'm going to start off by grabbing some detangler spray. You want to detangle before you put the hair mask in. That way it can get to every strand. So I go ahead and spray that. This stuff works good. My mom used to use this on me. I grab my detangler brush. 
and I started to tangle. As you can see, she was hurting a little bit, but she's really good with just sitting there and getting her hair done. But I do have a couple tips and tricks I'll share later in the video on how to get your toddler to sit still while you do their hair. So I'm going to continue to tangle. I grab my wide tooth two face comb it has wide tooth on one side and then the other one's like a regular comb as I'm showing you and then you want to grab your rat tail comb and I met I actually comb through with the rat tail comb sometimes but I just started to part it to get ready to apply the hair mask my point area is really the back of her hair i'll insert a picture on how short the back of her hair used to be three months ago and how long it's getting now but a lot of times i start in the back i'm gonna like i said i parted it and then separated the top from the bottom from the back and grab my hair mask and i'm gonna start to apply it into her hair So you want to start whatever the point is that you're trying to grow the most, if that's, you know, what you're trying to do. Um, you want to start with that first, around the sides first, and then you want to wait, make your way into the middle. And make sure, you like, once you put it in, you massage it through. You don't want to just put it in and let it sit there. You want to make sure that it's actually getting through. And I make sure that I'm putting it in all through the back of her hair and not missing any strands. So once that's in, you want to get your rat tail comb and comb it through. This is just to make sure that it's getting all through the hair and hitting every strand. And of course, I'm going to put more. You just want to start off lightly. Now I'm going to start by including the hair mask on the sides of her hair before I get into the middle. That way, it's sitting on the sides a little longer. And it's easier also for us to comb it out because it's been sitting on the sides longer. I part it and I just keep adding it all into the hair. Once you put the hair mask in, it gets it really easy to comb out. Um, my daughter has crazy shrinkage and the coil and curl pattern in her hair is wonderful. Um, it's fully covered. Her hair is fully covered. So I make sure that I keep combing it back just to smoothen it out and make sure I'm not missing any strands. If you comb it back, it makes it to where the, when you wash the hair, it's easier for you to, you know, have it in the, going in the same direction. All that her hair is coated, I want to get into this curl pattern I was telling you about. You can see a lot of the avocado green in it. Don't worry, it'll wash out. Now I'm going to start by washing her hair. You want to make sure that you rinse this stuff out after it's been sitting for 15 minutes. She is so silly. She loves getting her hair washed. But she is scared of the water sometimes hitting her face. I take some of this tear-free shampoo that I make myself. If you want to know how I make that, just comment down below. And I'll be sure to upload a video of how I do that. So once it's shampoo, you want to start washing it out. But making sure that you're getting every strand. Making sure that you do not scratch the scalp. That causes breakage and it'll pull the hair just want to rub it do this for a second time just to make sure that the mask is completely washed out I use my palm and I use my fingers just to kind of scratch it but not really scratch it make sure that it's all getting washed out and once you see that this hair is fluffy like this you know that it's getting clean she was showing me some stuff. She's so silly. She likes to just tell jokes and stuff while she's getting her hair done. So you're going to continue to 
rinse this stuff out. A lot of the times I detangle while I'm doing, while I'm washing it, but I didn't this time because I actually didn't want it to be detangled when I took it out. I wanted to show her actual hair pattern on how it looks once it's washed without being detangled. So when I wash it, I separate it just to make sure I'm getting it all out and make sure it's no dandruff inside her hair or dry skin on her scalp. And go ahead and take the towel and dry it off. Now this is her hair after it's washed. As you can see, it does not even look wet. Like, I know, crazy. That's why I wanted to show how it looked without being detangled. Her hair looks so dry, but it is actually wet. But, yeah. Now we're going to get to styling the hair. You want to grab some Cantu conditioner. A lot of people down talk Cantu products. Cantu works great for my kids' hair. Especially the shrinkage hair that my daughter has. It just makes her hair so smooth and easier to comb out. I put enough in her hair to cover full hair. I don't drench her hair and condition her at all. And once you put that in, you want to make sure you're separating the hair and starting to detangle it. Grab that spray because without the spray, it, it, it'll it hurt your kids a little bit if you don't spray it. This spray helps to just loosen all of the tangles just so it makes it easier to comb out. She was trying to look at herself in the camera. But some tips I do have while I'm detangling, I'll, tell, I'll share some tips. If you're doing a toddler's hair, you can put on a cartoon or something. That way that they're distracted. Um, I always make sure my daughter's fed or she's eating a snack while she's getting her hair done. And I also get her her cup for some juice or whatever. And a lot of the times I talk to her while I'm doing her hair. And just giving her encouragement on how pretty she's going to look after I'm done. It gives her the boost and she'll want to actually get her hair done. So, I don't know. You can probably consider doing that. I grabbed some rubber bands of the colors I'm going to use. I usually don't use them, but I'm going to put some of that oil on them. This oil helps to where when you put it in the hair, it won't break the hair off. After it's dried up, it will not break the hair off. And also, since it's growth oil, it'll help grow it at the root while it's in the protective style. Now, I take some of my Sulfur 8 and I just start to grease her scalp once I part it. And I use jam, um, the Shine Jam from the Beauty Supply. Um, I use that in my daughter's hair. It doesn't work for mine, but it works wonders in her hair. Do not use gel for your kid's hair or like any kind of got-to-be glue. No, they are too young for that. So I go ahead and I start to just put her hair in little ponytails. It's the nighttime, so... This is a good protective style just to put her hair in little ponytails after it's washed and detangled. It keeps it free. It's easier to maintain. And that way, once you put it in ponytails, when you wake up in the morning, it's easy to just braid them up and add some barrettes or whatever you want to do. So I finished the little protective style. I'm just going through making sure everything is detangled and combed out. Because her hair does dry really, really fast. And I actually wanted the look to be like a little curly ponytail look. And that's why I kept spraying. So this is how her hair looks. Do not mind the parts. It's just a protective style after she gets it washed. I use red and green for Christmas colors. But she knows she'd be looking cute after she get her hair done. It's the cutest thing. Just... Make sure that you're not touching your child's hair every day. You could put it in a protective style and it's easier for them to use and play in. And it helps their hair grow when you don't touch it as much. It's okay to touch it up or, you know, brush it up a little. But do not comb and grab and 
mess with your child's hair too much because it will cause breakage and their hair will not grow that way. I ended up wrapping her hair. It's not going to stay on through the night while she's asleep. I know that for a fact. But I did wrap it with not her scarf but mine because she lost hers somewhere and I didn't feel like looking for it. It helps for the sulfur 8 and the oils and stuff to sit when your hair is warm. And it feels better for your kid and it helps them, you know, be comfortable when they go to sleep. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, and comment. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. And if you want to try this, make sure you let me know how it turns out. Thank you for watching. Bye.